Good afternoon, sir. What seems to be the problem? We've heard reports of spies in this area. Maybe Israel. We haven't seen anybody in a while. Honest. If you say anything odd, report it to me. Understand? Yes, sir. Man, those guys are big. And ugly, too. That settles it. Let's get out of here. No. We have to stay here till the farmers leave. We have to bring some of those grapes back to Moses. Do you think they were serious about spies? No, I think they were just trying to scare us so we'd have to pay taxes for protection. Come on, that's enough excitement for one day. Yeah, let's get it out of here before they come back. Man, that was close. Too close. It'll be difficult, but I think we can take this land. Let's go find the others and get back to camp. For 40 years, Moses led the Israelites through the wilderness. And now, at the edge of the Promised Land, Moses would breathe his last breath. And Joshua would take his place. God told Joshua of his promise to give the land of Canaan to the descendants of Abraham. It would now be up to Joshua to cross the Jordan River with Israel's army and take possession of Canaan. For with God's help, no other nation would be able to defeat him. Send officers throughout the camp to tell the men to get their supplies ready. In a few days, we leave to cross the Jordan to take the land that God has given us. Excuse me, but did I hear you say, cross the Jordan? Just how do you propose we do that? There are no bridges, no sandbanks, the river's at flood stage this time of year. What you're proposing is impossible. God said cross the Jordan, and that's exactly what I intend to do. God will provide a way, Aiken. I'm sure of that. As for you, you may want to polish your armor. You're going with us. <laughs> I've heard stories about Canaan. Terrible stories about Canaan. Giant warriors from the Anakite tribes. We could be ambushed. We could lose everything. My family, my bronze pot. You may want to reacquaint yourself with your faith in God, Aiken, or the Anakites will be the least of your worries. Please, sir, he meant no harm. You can't force a man to trust in God, Caleb, but you can force him to march. Three days, Aiken. Be ready. In the days that followed, Joshua shared with the people what God had told him. When he had explained everything to the people, they pledged to follow him just as they had Moses, vowing to put to death anyone who disobeyed his commands. The full force of Israel is about to invade Canaan, carve out a territory by the command of the Lord God himself. Yeah! I'll be leading the army across the Jordan in just a few days. But before we make our move, I need someone to go and spy out the region. This is not the first time we've invaded Canaan. Many years ago, before most of you were even born, Joshua and I and 10 other men spied out the region we were preparing to overrun. Our mission was a success, but when it came time to tell our report to Moses and the people, two very different stories were told. And it turned into one of Israel's darkest days. 
This land is beautiful. It flows with milk and honey, and it's ours for the taking. Are you crazy? These lands are guarded by huge Anakite warriors. Their cities are invincible, surrounded by walls. Look at this cluster of grapes we brought back. It's immense. But the soil isn't fit to grow anything else. We'll never be able to grow on crops there. <laughs> People! Don't listen to them. With God on our side, who can defy us? And we saw the Nephilim there, the ancestors of the Anakites, who are so big they make us look like grasshoppers. What will happen to my wife, my children? Slavery in Egypt was better than being slaughtered in Canaan. Stop. Don't rebel against God's chosen leader. You don't know what you're doing. I don't want to be squished by giants. Death to Moses. Let us choose a new leader and return to Egypt. God was so angry that day that he would have destroyed all of us. But Moses begged him to spare our lives. And he did forgive the Israelites, except for those ten spies. But God promised that not one of your parents' generation would ever see the promised land. Only Caleb and me, and over the last 40 years, they have slowly died in the desert. God has given Israel a second chance. You, the children of that rebellious generation, will now and then Canaan. We need two spies to scour the land. Two spies that will not make the same mistake as their ancestors. Daniel and I will go. Yeah, what? You two, they'll see you coming a mile away. Please, sir, we can do it without getting caught. Right, Daniel? Yeah. We won't disappoint you, sir. Uh, yeah, what he said. I think you two would do just fine. Learn whatever you can about the region and its people, especially the city of Jericho. Yes, sir. I'll take notes. Forgive me, sir, but I have urgent news for you. Can't you see he's talking to his wives? That's right. How is he supposed to have a proper communication with his marriages when you come running in here like that? Care to step outside and talk about it, Zorak? <clears throat> Your Majesty, the Israelite army has gathered at the banks of the Jordan River. <laughs> They call it the Ark of the Covenant. It's their magic box the priests carry. Some say the power of their God lies within it. Don't go mess with me, girl. Remember, you're talking to the king of Jericho. Magic box or not, they'll never cross the Jordan. My agents tell me they're planning to attack us like they did the Amorites. I want the whole city on full alert. Close the gates and us. No one gets in or out without my permission. <laughs> Zorak, Mozart! Yes, sir! Double the guards around my palace and patrol the city. Report any suspicious activity immediately. You have your orders now. Go! Shalom, stranger. Daniel, what is this? It's a disguise. You look ridiculous. 
come on! This disguise is foolproof. I can't believe you recognize me. like the gates are closed. I guess we better go home. Daniel, get back here. Find another way in. Come on. It'll be getting dark soon. We'll find a way in. Okay. Seeing anything? Nothing but a couple of rats. I don't know. It looks a little small to me. You know I'm claustrophobic. Let's keep moving and I'll make a note of this. There's no time for that. Joshua's waiting for a report. We need to get inside the city. Let's go. We don't even know where this thing leads. It goes into the city. Come on. Reminds me of my Uncle Murray. Oh, what's that smell? What'd you expect? It's a sewer. You believe that story about the 50-foot alligators in the sewer? Hey, there's a light up ahead. It's about time. Oh, what's that? Just a couple of rats. My knees are killing me. Quit complaining. Here we are. I don't know, it looks a little small to me. Let's keep going. Mmm, I think I smell some food. It's not that small. I think I can make it. Yeah, let's go. Afraid of tight spaces. Oh, okay. Everyone relax. We'll get you out. He's right on the count of one, two, three. For a minute there, I thought I was gone. By the way, I do not think we have met. What part of the government do you work for? Uh, Culvert Operations. Um, yeah, culvert operations. We're checking the drains for spies. Ah! Oh. Mm -hmm. um, I see. We gotta go. Lots of drains to inspect. 
Thanks for everything. For Maybe we can get transferred. <laughs> Anything else? No. Thanks. That'll be all, Rahab. Bye. Come back soon. <laughs> hey, watch it, buddy. Come on. It's okay. Just come on. This place is perfect. Yeah, because I'm starving. No. It's for information. Uh, oh, yeah. That, too. Wipe your feet, gentlemen. I run a clean joint. Eli, don't you ever wish you could be someone else? Only when Susanna's making me work. What's the matter, Ray? Oh, I just need a change. A fresh start. Maybe we could open up another place in another town. Or maybe we could just walk away from all this. It ain't happening, Ray. We are who we are. Now forget about it and take care of those customers over there. Well, well. You two look like something a cat just drug in. We just crawled out of the sewer. Shh. Honey, most men just crawled out of the sewer. Now, what'll it be? Um, we'd like a drink and some information. We hear it's a good place for both. I'll get you drinks in. Be right back. Give me two fuzzy camels. Coming right up. Who are those strange looking guys, Randy? Right? I don't know. I've never seen them before. Who cares? We get all kinds of weirdos in this place. There's something about them. I just can't put my finger on it. Ugh, they're probably vagabonds. Give me those drinks and I'll find out what they're up to. This won't take long. Hello. What brings you two fine-looking gentlemen to town? We're spot... Shh. Shh. Um, we, uh... We're on a business trip. And what kind of business are you in? We really aren't at liberty to say. Oh, mystery men, I just love mystery men. What's the big secret, boys? You can tell them on me. Sewer. Crawling out of the sewers? I don't have anybody working on the sewers. You know, the Department of Covert Operations. Covert Operations? There is no Department of Covert Operations. Those men are probably Israelite spies. Oh. And you let them get away? Oh, they didn't get away, sucker. I saw them go into Rahab's tavern. With pleasure, sire. And get all the rabs. I want these two men caught dead or alive. This oh. is an ow, outrage. Ow. That's smart. Quit I have Quit never it been hurts. so humiliated. Ow. You'll ow. hear smart. from my Quit lawyer. No I'm still waiting to hear your little secret, boys. They're Israelites, sis. 
Shh. Ha. How can you be so sure? That's not important. What is important is why you're here. Everyone's heard about your God and his great power. After what your army did to Og and Sion, the whole country's afraid of you. You don't seem to be afraid. Look around. What have I got to lose? <laughs> Right. Yeah, this place is real dumb. Shh, come on. <gasps> You're going to attack Jericho, aren't you? We're all gonna die. Eli, I need my smelling salts. I think I'm gonna faint. Susanna, you are wearing me out. My sources tell me the city's under lockdown. The King's guards are bound to find you. You wouldn't consider helping us, would you? <laughs> Why not? I've been thinking about making a change anyway. There's no place to hide. Hide behind those bales of flax. I'll go guard the door. So you could take a look around if you'd like. <laughs> yeah, but you'd be wasting your time. Where do those stairs go to? Uh, to a star room near the roof. I think I'll take a look. Fresh air, that's all. It's so stuffy downstairs. You haven't seen any spies around here, have you? No, all I see is a beautiful night to watch the stars. Get out of the way. Wonder what's in here. <laughs> what's the matter with you? Thought I saw a rat, that's all. You're pathetic. So, someone's coming. They're busy. Did you find anything? <laughs> Nothing but a couple of filthy rats. Come on. Susanna! Are you okay? Yes. Where are they? They're in the flats. Right here. I'm gonna take her downstairs. Here. 
barely okay? Barely. I know about your God, about the Red Sea, and how you beat the Amorites. But if it wasn't for the kindness we've shown you today, you would have died. Please promise us that when your people come to attack the city, you'll save us. As long as the Lord lives, you have our word. Yes, our lives are yours. The guards will be coming soon. We've got to get you out of here. I've got more of this rope. We can tie it off and you can climb out the window. Over the wall? Again? Maybe I have acrophobia. What's that? Fear of heights. Why would anyone with a god like yours be afraid of anything? Now listen to me. Once you hit the hill country, stay there for at least three days before doubling back. The king's guards will have stopped searching by then. How do I know you're not going to cut this room once we get out the window? We have an agreement. My word is my bond. Take this rope. Tie it to the window. When the troops come, make sure everyone's inside. It's the only way we can guarantee your safety. Remember, if anyone finds out about this, the deal's off. Thank you for saving our lives. <laughs> Get out of here. Are you sure this is safe? It'll be okay. Just don't look down. God had commanded him to do, Joshua sent the priests ahead of the army, carrying the Ark of the Covenant toward the Jordan River. As soon as the priest's feet touched the water, the river stopped flowing and receded, allowing the soldiers to walk across the Jordan on the dry riverbed. On that day, God proved that Joshua was his choice for leader of the people of Israel, just as Moses had been. Here's our target, the city of Jericho. Who is that man on the trail? I don't know, but I'll go find out. You there, I am Joshua, leader of the Israelite army. Are you a friend or foe? I am neither. I am here at the Lord's command. Joshua, son of Nun, because I am the leader of his army. I am your humble servant. Tell me what you want me to do. First, take off your sandals, for this is holy ground. And now, listen to the Lord's plan. Believing the spy's promise and having faith that the Israelites would spare her and her household, Rahab hung the scarlet cord from her window, the cord that would ultimately ensure the salvation of her and her family. At 
At the Lord's command, Joshua instructed the Israelite army to march around the city of Jericho for seven days. Each day, the priests blew their trumpets. <gasps> then, on the seventh day... People of Israel, get ready to shout at the top of your lungs, because God has delivered the city of Jericho into our hands. But you must destroy everything and everyone in it. Spare only the woman Rahab and those in her house, for she helped our spies escape the king of Jericho. Do not take anything for yourself. It all belongs to God and will be put in his treasury. If anyone disobeys his command, it could mean death for us all. Priests, prepare to blow the trumpets for the final time. Seven days and still marching. Ever since those Israelites started marching around the city, we hadn't had a single customer. Sure hope your friends keep their promise, Ray. Well, they did promise they'd save us, didn't they? We have to have faith in them, girls. And faith in their God. I knew you were behind all this, Rahab. You helped them escape, didn't you? Well, your faith in their God can't save you now. That's not what I was promised. People of Israel, attack!
follow me. And remember, don't take anything. Do not take anything for yourself. It all belongs to God and will be put in his treasury. Here it is. Is this the throne room? It was the throne room. I ran this one time. I was surrounded by the whole Israelite army. And God's work here is done. Let's get out of here. Somebody's coming. Is everybody okay? Not even a scratch. It looks like you kept your promise. No, God kept his promise. Let's get you people out of here. That city laid bare, and its people dazed with fear. Jericho was no match for the Israelite army. They showed no mercy to anybody, except for Rahab and those in her house. So the army plundered the city and took the riches to the tabernacle. With Jericho on fire, the entire city was like a sacrifice to the Lord. Joshua became a great leader for the people of Israel, as Moses had been. The Lord helped Joshua in all he did, and his reputation spread everywhere in the land of Canaan. And as for Achan, well, that's another story. Rahab had saved the spies in Jericho. 
But even though she and her family were not Jews, they were accepted by the Israelites. Rahab's descendants dwelt among God's people, and in fact, she was the ancestor of the greatest Israelite of all, Jesus. No pinching. That hurts. This is an outrage. Dolly. One, two, three. Where? Hang on. VA, look, it's the Wicked oh, yeah. Witch of the West. Where? Uh, don't move. Back don't up, back move. up. Freeze.
wasting your time. Where do those stairs go to? <laughs> Never mind, let's do it again. <laughs> What's in here? Ah! Okay, good. That's good. Hey, I want you to do it. Action. Remember, if it... <laughs> Crazy? This land is guarded by huge Anakite warriors. The cities are invisible, surrounded by walls. Uh, invincible. Invin invincible. Invin Good afternoon, sir. What seems to be the problem? Okay. <laughs> Good afternoon, sir. What seems to be the problem? <laughs> Sorry. Okay. Sorry. Are you sure this is safe? It'll be okay. Just don't look down. <laughs> Same song, second verse. Second is just as bad as the first. <laughs> I hope they're okay. No one could have survived this game. I hope you're what? I need you back. Prepare to die. 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 Die.